Hi everyone, welcome back to a new session of the EWS. In this session, I will explain you about SNS in EWS. We'll show you in detail what is SNS and how it benefits us in Amazon Web Services. What is the drawbacks of this? And practically, I will show you how to create SNS in AWS. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with SNS. So first of all, what is SNS? Amazon Simple Notification Service is a fully managed messaging service for both system to system and app to person communication. It enables us to communicate between system through publish and subscribe. You can see that pub or sub patterns that enable messaging between decoupled microservice application or to communicate directly to users via SMS, mobile push and email. It provides developer with the highly scalable, cost effective and flexible capability to publish message from an application and send them to the other applications. SNS can also send the message to the device by sending push notification to Apple, Google, Fire OS, Windows devices as well as Android devices in China and Baidu cloud push. Besides sending the push notification to the mobile devices, Amazon SNS sends a notification through SMS or email to the to an Amazon Simple Queue service that is SQS or to an HTTP endpoint. It is way of sending message when we are using auto scaling. It triggers an SNS service which will email us that our EC2 instance is growing. SNS notification can also trigger the Lambda functions when a message is published to an SNS topic that has the Lambda function associated with it. So if you don't know about the Lambda function, Please watch my previous session or either I'll mention the description URL or Lambda contains URL in my description tab. Lambda function is invoked with the payload of message for we can see that the Lambda function is invoked with a message payload as an input parameter and manipulate the information in the message and then sends the message to other SNS topics or other AWS services. Amazon SNS allows us to grow multiple recipients using topics where the topic is logical access point that sends the identical copies of C message to the subscriber recipient. The system to system pub or sub functionality provides topics for high throughput Post based many to many messaging using Amazon SNS topic or publisher system can fan out message to a large number of subscriber system or to customer endpoint, including Amazon SQS queues. AWS Lambda function and HTTP is for parallel processing the A2P, that is, application to person communication messaging functionality, enables us to send message to the user at scale using either a pub or sub pattern or direct published messaging using a single API. SNS is most useful for sending notification of various events that happens in our AWS hosted application and for distributing information between different services in a microservice oriented infrastructure. So let's see how we can create it or how we will log in it and use the services of SNS. So once you will log in inside your AWS credential or AWS account, just search the SNS or simple notification services. Once you will click on this, you are able to see and click on the SNS services. So after opening this, you are able to see create topic or create topic is a message channel when you publish a message to a topic, it fans out the message to all subscribe endpoints. So if you want to have a look on start or overview of that, you're able to see this contain 
that is user notification and system to system messaging so whenever it prevents the loss of data all messages published to sns are stored redundantly across multiple availability zones the main difference between sns and amazon sqs is that sns implements a push architecture all subscriber receive the message that are published to a topic while sqs implements a pull architecture in which clients pull message from a shared queue so let me explain you about how does it work sns service every sns topic has a set of subscription as you can see here uh, once you will create that or uh, create a topic you able to see subscription are available or you can subscribe for any of the content so uh, we here we have topic creating a topic and here we can also create a subscription so let me create one topic uh, for demo purpose so provide the topic detail maximum 256 character can include alpha numeri character or hyphen or underscore underscore so let me create test test sns and create the topic so once you create click on create you able to see the topic is created successfully and you able to see the topic owner detail and arn so by this way we can create it if you want to subscribe or create the subscription that is also very much easy and at any point of time if you want to delete it or publish the message you can publish it according to your requirement but i don't want to publish that i just want to delete it you can also edit it according to your requirement so it's test test sns delete me now once we'll enter delete me you able to see your topic will be deleted so how it works every sns topic has a set of subscription once a message is published to a topic sns handles distributing the message to all its subscriber so just like if i am the subscribe the person uh, subscribe for that messaging i will get the notification whenever there is a differences so subscription can be aws lambda function and sqs queue mobile push notification will be triggered on your device whatever is device including ios mac os android and windows devices so if you are using the old a uh, mac device just like a nexus series or the old version of your mobile devices or any devices it will not receive the message but definitely it going to be triggered from the system so http endpoints email addresses and mobile phone number can be capable of receiving sms messages so to publish a message to an sns topic a message producer must use the sns http api once the message is published all the subscriber receive a copy of the message over the channel through which they established their subscription so let me show you the benefits we have created successfully and deleted but same way you can create the subscription but you have to be already created topic for subscription so let's see the benefits so you can find it out here four sns benefits are available uh, first is modernizing and decoupling your application Amazon SNS enables us to mo modernize your application and decouple them into smaller independent components that are easier to develop, deploy and maintain. Leveraging a powerhouse of event driven architecture for our application improves performance, reliability and allows each component to scale independently. Second is fan out message directly to the millions of user or you can see that reliably deliver message that is the second point 
So Amazon SNS used across availability zone message storage to provide high message durability running with Amazon's proven network infrastructure and data centers. Amazon SNS topics are available whenever our application needs them. So that is the reliably deliver messages. Third is fan out message directly to millions of user. Amazon SNS enables us to send message or notification directly to the user with SMS text message to over 200 countries. Mobile push on Apple, Android, other platform or email that is SMTP. Amazon SNS provides redundancy across multiple SMS providers and allows us to push mobile notification using a single endpoint for all platforms. Finally, at the end, automatically scale our workload. Amazon SMS leverages the proven AWS cloud to dynamically scale with our application. Amazon SNS is fully managed services taking care of the heavy lifting related to capacity planning, provisioning, monitoring, and patching activity. These services is designed to handle high throughput, virtual traffic patterns, and enable us to send millions of messages per second. So whenever there is a uh, benefit, definitely there some there should be a some drawbacks as well or you can see that the disadvantage so definitely this service is, is on a higher cost at scale when using sns we need to pay the exactly what we use this can be both positive and negative way the upside is that there is no monthly charges if you use sns for just one day of the month you pay only for that one day on the other side however with the high volume of topics subscribers and messages the cost of sns can eventually rise quite high and operating our own infrastructure for sns like load may be more cost effective in such cases so this is the only one drawback in terms of finance but whenever you are working with a mnc organization it's always required to have this type of services so that the uh, top notch or immediate attention user should get notified whether the services is running or not so this is all about sns let's recap this initially we have started about what is sns we have discussed in detail then we have created a topic and the solution board after creating i have deleted definitely but you can use it according to your requirement then we have discussed about their benefits there are four benefits we have discussed in detail then finally we have discussed about their drawbacks so drawbacks contain only one drawback that is for the costing purpose but when you are not having any finance related issue definitely you can go ahead with the service and use according to your requirement so this is all about sns in aws hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching